place looks great. Oh, thanks, man. Put the whole thing for eight bucks and a blowjob. Oh, the neighbors. Uh, that was who I gave the blowjob to. Oh, nice. They gave me all their furniture. Nice. <laughs> Is that her? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just hold on. <laughs> you ass. <laughs> I'm John. I'm Lori. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was my fault. Hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Oh my god. I'm I, I am. Okay, I'm good. People call me Johnny B on the dance floor. Are you a good dancer? Uh, the best. Best in being, huh? <laughs> I'm so sorry. So bitch. Stop. It's my fault. It's my fault. If you can do it this time, I will never make you sing on Family Guy again. <laughs> Put it on. Put it on. Watch this magic. <laughs> Promise? Don't make me sing on Family Guy, Mark. Is it still her? <sighs> I don't want to sing on Family Guy. Please say your name. I'm John. <laughs> no, no. I just, I just thought you might want some extra semen on your, uh, on, on, on your poop deck. Do you know what would happen if the Beatles had said, I can't? We, we would have missed out on tons of timeless music. Elvis Presley, Madonna, Madonna, John. If Madonna had said, I can't, she, she would have probably crapped out after one hit. Do you know how old she is today, John? 68. She's 68 years old and still on top because she said, I can. John, this is your Madonna moment. Come share this with me. Yes, you can, John. Like, like Barack Obama. Yes, you can. What if Barack Obama had said, I can't, huh? He, he wouldn't have got elected. And we wouldn't have found out that a black guy can be a terrible president just like anyone else. John, this is your terrible black president moment. Come share this with me. You remember when we used to watch Sesame Street, right? And, and Cookie Monster would eat a cookie, but he wouldn't swallow anything. The pieces would just like fall off to the sides, you know? And, and we didn't think nothing of it at the time. But now we know it was on purpose because he was bulimic. John, don't be a bulimic cookie monster. Don't let the best parts of life crumble down your chest. I can't. John, let me tell you a story. Back in the 80s, there was an actor named Christopher Hewitt who was on a TV show called Mr. Belvedere. Now, he was a large man, and one day on the set, he accidentally sat down wrong and crushed his own balls. He was taken to the hospital and given treatment. Unfortunately, he sat on his own balls many times after that. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm coming. Well, I am a former celebrity in a minimum wage job. This, this must be how the kids from Jurassic Park feel. You, you remember them? Fuckface and what's his fuck? This is how depression starts, Johnny, you know? I'm, I'm gonna have to start taking a stronger drug. Come on, it's not that bad, okay? I got a shitty job and I assure you, I'm quite content. I don't know, I try heroin, but I don't have any veins. I don't know, maybe I'll sell drugs on the side. Is crack legal yet in Massachusetts? I don't know, maybe I'll suck dicks in the South End for extra cash. We'll, we'll get it sorted out. You're gonna be sucking on this in a minute. I'm quite content. Yeah, the first sign of true happiness is chronic drug use. Oh, is that why you bought a prescription pad on eBay? Because of how happy you are? I'm quite content. You masturbate in the shower with head and shoulders. Things are not that great. Well, you're probably not used to seeing me fully clothed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me and Nora met each other at a party at Tony Bennett's house back in 2002. We did it right on top of Tony's pinky ring collection. I think about that night every time I sing Don't Know Why I Didn't Come. Ah, <laughs> yeah, this one's a ball buster. Me and Nora met in 2002 at a party at Pat Benatar's house. You remember what a fucked up host Pat was? You remember she, she walked out with a platter with less than 10 crackers on it and acted like that was enough. There were over 100 people there. Anyway, Nora and I had awkward, non-memorable sex in one of her child's bedrooms. Me and Nora met back in 2002 at this event for this charity that we were both involved with, this wonderful charity, actually, for kids who've been fucked by a family member, and we, we ended up hooking up in the back room. Seriously? One drink. One drink. If you have more than one drink, I'll scream rape. There's something that I need to say to you two. The bear raped me. <laughs> Can you help me get out of my own car? <laughs> I need help in my, my own car. Hello? 
Hold on, hello. Okay, Mr. Dad? B Mr. Bugatti? <laughs> I hate this car. Something's happening. The, the wing car. came out. The wing there came was out? a wing. There's a wing that comes out. Oh. There it goes. There it goes. Good job. You tried to get away, Ted. That was mean. Yeah, well, God was mean to your tits. That was mean. Yeah, screw you, white precious. Shit! Yes! Hey, Johnny, total TJ Hooker, right? Hey, who says women drivers are lousy, huh? You didn't crash or nothing. We do, we talk about you all the time. All the time, yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh my God, remember, Ted, last week we were talking about how neat all of our shoes are? All your shoes, my and God, that was a lengthy conversation. We were saying, like, you know, a lot of women look like unsteady horses when they wear high heels, but Laurie has sort of a regal um, trot. A, a canter. Oh my God, yes, you canter. Yeah, I mean, like last week, we were talking about how neat and tidy your purse is, you know? I mean, like like most women, their purses are like a salad of tampons and gum. But, you know, yours is like it's just well-ordered, you know? It's like if the, the Nazis had purses, this is how they would have been. They would look like yours. Like your purse has a Hitlerian orderliness. So, you know, way to go. Yeah, I mean, like just yesterday, Johnny and I were talking about how hot you are, you know? Like your features, you know? Like you'd, like we were saying you'd even make a really hot guy. I mean, if, if you ever want to, to cut your hair and go in that direction, you know, you, you, you got options is what I'm saying. You got options. Yeah, I mean, and like we're always talking about how hot you are, you know? Like, I mean, I was saying to Johnny, I was saying, if I looked like you, I would be jerking myself off all the time, you know? So it's a, it's a testament to you that you have a career, you know, that you're, you're not just staying home fiddling with your clitoris or whatever, you know? So a tip of the Fred Astaire top hat to you for that, I say. Right. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Wow. Fuck. Mm. Hi. Why did I? Why did I just keep talking? Why did I ruin that on that take? What? I'm acting like a cock? Yes, you are acting like a pointy ice cream cone shaped Mitt Romney cock. Huh? I was at a Red Sox game and he was pissing next to me in the men's room. Dick was cone shaped. It was so weird. And when he pissed on the urinal cake, Johnny, it just dissolved. It just went away like it was acid. I never seen nothing like it. I'm acting like a cock? Yes. You were acting like a giant V-shaped funny looking guy in a porno cock. Huh? It's, remember that porno we saw with the guy with a V-shaped cock? Forget it. Yes. You are acting like a big ugly cock banging a Hitler mustache vagina. Huh? Remember that porno we saw with the Hitler mustache vagina? Had the, had the bangs hanging across the top. Forget it. I love hide and seek. I'll hide. Well, now, hang on a sec there. Y your dad likes you to show good manners, right, uh, Tubby McFatfuck? Well, now, hang on a sec there. Y your dad likes you to show good manners, right, uh, Chaz Bono? Up the dog's ass, right? Oh, yeah, no, no, the fireman sticks the finger up the dog's ass, not his own ass. Oh, God. That's how they... Who's the fireman who discovers that intervention, right? I, I, you know, I guess they do whatever they gotta do, you know? Yeah, that's like mad science. Yeah. I thought the fireman stuck his own finger up his own ass. No, no, up the dog's ass. But they gotta stick it way up there. And if it's, if it goes up the wrong tube, then they gotta stick it back down the other the end. Wrong tube? What do you mean? There's well, multiple whatever it is tubes. inside the ass. So I don't know if it's a tube. Is it a cave? A cove? I don't know. Well, it's not a cave. I know that well, much some, about. It. I, I'm pretty sure they're like dog assholes, like our asshole, right? You probably had a couple of fucking rectal exams. You must know. Yeah, I've had a few. Probably too many, but Voluntary. yeah. Let me out of here, you crazy bastard! Let me, oh, oh, I hear the fat kid running. I hear the fat kid running. I bet it's hilarious. Let me out of here, you crazy bastard. All right, look, I'll, I'll be reasonable. How about that? I'll, I'll, I'll put the fucking lotion in the basket. C come on, at least let me see your kid do the truffle shuffle, huh? How about that? We could, oh, hey, Johnny, there you are. Hey, you gotta come back inside, man. Flash is telling the story of how he accidentally fucked Robert Evans. Hey, Johnny, hey, come on upstairs. Tammy Lynn's gonna make some RC cola from scratch. Oh, Johnny, there you are. Hey, we got problems, man. Flash just hit a high school kid with a golf club. Cocaine, right? Come on, dudes, don't tell me you've never done it before. I thought that was just for people in Florida. Are you sure this apartment's nice enough for cocaine? All you gotta do is not fuck up. You're the least <laughs> fucked up- I'm sorry. Did you just fart in my fucking office? I apologize. Did you just fucking fart? I got nervous. I think I got a concussion and I, my, my stomach is upset from the nausea and sh driving. You got a problem. Your asshole should be fucking clenched when I'm talking to you. It is, sir. No, it's not. You just fucking shit in my room. It didn't come out. It smells There's like- There's a fucking it, poop didn't. fog in here. Dear God in heaven, what did you eat? I don't- Ugh. Smells like fucking rotten meat and cocaine in here. What kind of diet are you on? I'm a short bear in a suit. I, I look like Boo Boo at Yogi's funeral. 
Come on, it's not that bad. And everyone knows whatever disease claimed Yogi is about to claim Boo Boo. Come on, it's not that bad. Yes, it is that bad, John. I look like I'm about to throw a tantrum for ice cream. John, I look like the seal of quality on a crib. I look like a, a guest at Peter Dinklage's wedding. Uh, yeah, you're on the bride side or the groom side? Yeah, what do you think, asshole? I think I've never seen uh, a set where people are laughing as much as on this movie. There's probably like continents we haven't even discovered yet. <laughs> I'm just saying that we just trust Rand. <laughs> it's great. It's really great, folks. <laughs> it was just very easy going. Everybody was enjoying themselves. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone's having fun. I know I am. It's hysterical. I mean, we laugh every day on this movie, and keeping that environment kind of fresh and upbeat. So the primary issue is what's funny, What's fun for the actors? What's fun for Seth? Do you think she might be expecting me to make that kind of a move? No, no, I don't think she, and, and, not, and not only that, John, we are four months away from an iPhone app where you hit a button and it tells you who is willing to blow you right here, right now in this restaurant. Yeah, well, I guess I didn't think about that. Yeah, exactly. You, you do not want to cash out before I blow. This is the American fantasy right here. A professional NFL player is called upon to save the world. Yeah, Tom Brady could do that. Tom Brady could do that! The only reason Brady doesn't fly is because he chooses not to. If Brady told me to kill myself, I'd do it. He's prettier than Giselle, you know. Are, are we having homosexuals over for dinner tonight? Is it? Uh, no, just you homos. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Well, you kind of just reworded my joke, but... Uh, ah. Whoa! Oh, hey, she's funny, Johnny. You got yourself a regular Tony Collette over there. Wait, who's, who's that? Is that good? Oh, she's a comedian. Oh, is she pretty? Well, she's as pretty as she is funny. Okay. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. oh she's funny, Johnny. You got yourself a regular Sandra Bernhardt over there. Wait, who's, who's that? Is that good? Yeah, if you want, like, a scowling blowjob. She's so pissed about it, don't go down there. You got what it takes? I'll tell you what I got. Your wife's pussy on my breast. Nobody's ever talked to me like that before. That's because everyone's mouth is usually full of your wife's box. You're hired. Shit. Well, it'll be great when it's furnished. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, when I get my mermaid fountain in here, it'll be, uh, be perfect. Oh, yeah, and actually, the landlord offered to give me a free love seat if I bought him a case of Sudafed. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of tables, a couple of lamps in here. I'll be in better homes and shitholes by next month. I'm a bear wearing a suit that could fit a child. I might as well walk in there with a honey jar stuck to my nose. Come on, it's not that bad. It, it, and by the way, you're Christopher Robin in that scenario, so, you know, get ready to get fucked by Tigger in the Hundred Acre Wood. Hey, you squirt, how you doing? Where's your bunny rabbit? It's a bear. <laughs> it's a bear. It just makes me giggle, because I heard it like this. It's a bear! Now, I know he didn't say it this way, and I'm sure his face didn't condor, but that is how I saw it in my head. Where's your bunny rabbit? He's a bear. Oh, got it. <laughs> He's a bill. And then we were shooting the car thing. <laughs> Come on, hurry, quick. That's my teddy bear, go. <laughs> What's so fucking funny? This is serious. You want me to say it real fast ten times? <laughs> teddy bear. <laughs> he calls 911 and he goes, 911, <laughs> I need the police. This man stole my teddy bear. Hello, 911? Yeah, I need the police right away. This guy took my teddy bear. Hello? I lost my shit for 10 minutes. I could not keep it together. 911? Stop. I need the police right away. Yeah, this guy took my teddy bear. Hello? My teddy bear, he's a real fucking bear. Teddy the talking bear? You never heard of him? He's fucking famous. Hello? Yeah, all right, good. Yeah, laugh at me when I'm fucking acting. No, no, no. Just come over. I, I got the Cheers DVD box set, and the guy down at the store told me that everybody talks shit about each other in the interviews. Really? Yeah, and apparently uh, Rhea Perlman admits that she once went up on George Went. Yeah, and apparently George Went confesses to a rape. Yeah, and apparently John Ratzenberger spends about 45 minutes defending the Armenian genocide. I will kick you out in five, and you can get back to it. Oh, here's my fucking boat. He'll kick me out in five. I will kick you out in five. John, I have to kick you out. I I'm having Teddy Bear Company later. Paddington and his snatchy wife are coming over. I have to kick you out in five. That's when the hunky construction worker next door takes a break and drinks a Diet Coke. I gotta watch it. Yeah, John, I have to kick you out in five. The, the mother of my buddy John is coming over and I have to fuck her. Yeah, you see what I did there? <laughs> Come on over. Mercy, mercy. 
<laughs> go, 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 step on it! <laughs> what the fuck was that? She's crazy. That was terrifying. <laughs> go. I'm ready. Go. <laughs> what? God, there are some fucked up fish out there. Oh, look, look, look at that one. Waspy white guy fish. I don't care for some of Conan O'Brien's humor. I don't, I don't like Irish humor. I married the wrong woman, and now I lead a life of regret. Oh, look at that guy. My son is taking me out to lunch today. He's paying for it all himself. I didn't even bring my wallet. I went to New York once in 1981, and I just did not feel safe. Laurie, this is Angelique, Heavenly, Shireen, and Sauvignon Blanc. <sighs> By the way, heads up, do not use your electric toothbrush. It was in an asshole. You know what we just found out? We found out Heavenly has a Taco Bell credit card. Can you believe that? How fucking stupid what is, is that? What is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were playing Truth or Dare, and uh, Shireen's pretty ballsy. Oh, my God. You know what? That's probably what Deirdre was doing over there. Remember, she was crouched over in the corner for a really long time. I thought she was just making a phone call. I have a boyfriend. Yeah, the guy with the bear. But I'm talking about a mature relationship, Lori. <laughs> I mean, if we were together, our babies would be spectacular. Yes, the guy with the teddy bear. It's a very cute relationship, but I'm talking about being with a real man, Lori. Someone who wears a blazer on an airplane. Someone who chews nicotine gum all the time. It's like $70 a pack. What is this? It's called mind rape. It's actually pretty mellow. What is this? It's called Kennedy's head. It's actually pretty mellow. It doesn't sound very mellow. No, no, it, it makes you cerebral, you know, like Kennedy. Kennedy was smart. That's what it refers to, like Cuban Missile Crisis, you know, decisions under pressure, that, that kind of thing. Go on, spark it up. Hey, it's Gigi Hadid. For more videos like this, click here. Hi, I'm Cara Delevingne. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Boop. Thanks for watching.